And howdy folks, Cold Meat here and welcome to this Medieval 2 Total War Kingdom mode that is Third Age Total War. This is the Sylvan Elf campaign. We are at part 5. This is pretty cool. And why is it cool? Because I gotta be honest, I played the first four part. Nothing bad happened. We're doing really good. We didn't lose any extra troops. Everything is fine. And I've been giving you guys a lot of cool tips on how to start a campaign in third age so if you haven't watched the first uh, four part have a look you'll have an annotation on top of the screen or you can follow the playlist also um, the videos are easy to find you can also visit my channel so um, I am at the end of the turn we're gonna skip the turn right now uh, what we're waiting for is actually uh, I'm uh, sieging two village so is it what Amon Gastal and this uh, this other little place right here of Austin Gill? I'll do construction report. Karas get it done. We're done farming, and I am not interested in uh, doing anything else right now. Not in Karas get it done. Uh, let me just have a look at the taxes. Normal taxes are good. Oh, I can't go to high, so we'll keep on normal, and I will see for the rest. I can recruit. This is pretty good. But building is not useful. And I can get to very high tax rate. I told you guys to not forget about your taxes in third age. You really have to be on top of things when we're talking about third age total war. Um, I'm not gonna recruit because you have to think about your upkeep. We're not doing tons of money each turn, so don't waste all of your upkeep. Uh, right now the siege is doing good. We're weakening the troops inside. This is an old, uh, as you can see, elven village taken by the taken by the freaking orcs. Um, I am. Am I keeping the 2,000 right now? Yes, I am keeping the 2,000 because in Irindalen there is nothing I really want to build. I explained to you guys about the uh, the uh, the buildings that actually help with your. Uh, with your nation or with your uh, your culture, uh, make sure you do not build those if your culture is over 60%. So don't waste. Uh, it can help around though. If you have a big building, it can help you around. But right now, there is no need to try to influence the, uh, you know, the dwarves My or uh, that what again are buying map information every turn. Uh, I'm gonna retry to sell map information uh, to uh, Dale, but I think that's gonna be probably the last time. I am not quite able to accept this. Don't give 146, so that's all you have. Glad we could reach an agreement. All right, excellent. Good as long as I get an agreement, everything's fine. Um, I'm not leveling with my diplomat. That's kind of weird. Without we'll go back question. up north. We'll go to the dwarves. I don't need my diplomat to go around and spy. Not necessary. Um, we sold Lord. map information to a Rohan. Last part. Um, As you why am I not seeing yes. this As freaking you village right here? You we'll go back to Gondor and sell things. again. So, uh, map info. Single attribute. We'll try to eight. Demanding. We're gonna make single payment i'm gonna go for five more balance no we cannot it's rejected because now. they don't have the money Until we i'm pretty sure of that the dwarves apparently had enough money to buy for a couple turns um here we go so uh when we're skipping the turn we have amon gastal for the fight and we have this other territory and let's skip the turn there's nothing to build right now or nothing to recruit because extra recruiting in third age can really, really, really hurt you. Do not train extra troops. This is the this is one of the reasons I asked you guys. Uh, I had a video, by the way. You guys might not be aware. Some of you are just maybe coming to the channel now. And by the way, thank you for subscribing. Um, I had a video asking you guys your opinion about which campaign, which nation should I pick for campaign. Um, I picked the Sylvan Elf. A lot of people allow me to play Sylvan Elf. This is my this was my recommendation. I like to play the elves because you do not need to over train 
your troops and apparently they're supposed to attack right so come come over and attack come over here and attack I'm just gonna block with my spears and then get all my archers behind like this and I'm gonna wait right here if there's anything I'll put it on fast forward so I'm gonna look at what we have in front of us Look like we're gonna be finishing some hunters first. There you go. So, um, again, I told you first, uh, some of you are asked, I, I got a couple questions of where, where's this mode coming from. Uh, well, I guess most of us are pretty familiar with it, but for those of you that are not, sorry, but I'm looking at this bunch of peasants coming over. Um, for those of you that are not, this is uh, Medieval 2 Total War Kingdom mode, and I put a link for you if you're interested. I put a link for you in uh, in the description. I always put the link so you can have a look at the forum and maybe download yourself if you'd like this uh, this mode. That's quite actually easy to install on Steam. Follow the instruction. That's important. Follow the instruction or follow. Uh, look for a video maybe on uh, on YouTube. This will help you a lot. Um, am I gonna move my spears? No. I don't care. And 36 peasants are not gonna do anything to me. Now that uh, it is time to change target. Time to change target. And decimate this unit a little bit before it comes to us. Change target again. I got the spears taken care of that. I don't want to hit my spears, that's why I'm not shooting at my at this unit. I'm shooting at this one. Why are you moving? Uh. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Uh, victory will be ours. Our men have slain the enemy general. Oh, cool general. Him, his troops will lose their will to fight. And I'm sending my spears in. And. Whoa, I see I'm sending the spears in. Thank you. So both units. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Run back. This is a missile freaking fight here. I'm doing a fight. I'm doing a fight just with my archers. Um. Wow, my sentinels are getting it crazy. That's what that's uh, it's because of it's a unit I'd like to keep. That's why I'm gonna run it back a bit. It's really damaged, but it's a unit I'd like to keep. Normally, I should have placed it behind the farm. We're done. So, um... Alright, so that's this unit that's gonna get hit. Much easier to replace. So this one peasant is gonna die. I got 74 here and 44. Axemen or hunters. We'll shoot on hunters. Look at the mist. Just the blood mist when all the arrows were hit. <laughs> You're getting destroyed by elf snipers. You're up. And why are we doing this? Because I'm I'm sick a bit of this fight. It's a bit long, and I want to finish it. I'm sending all my spears. So in case he makes it to the, uh, ah, the field. here we go. And run them down. End the battle. This is a clear no, it's okay. We're not gonna pursue or hunt them down. Although getting getting experience probably in this mode would be a great thing. Glory, honor, victory. I talked to you guys already about the, Lord, the extermination or the sacking of settlement. You know conquered. my opinion on it. We have triumphed. A most noble conquest. And what? There is there is no fight in Austin Gill? The what the 
they they had tunnels or something. But uh, let's uh, let's occupy this element. Uh, I thought I would be under attack, but that didn't happen. Um, adoption benefactor, you're not a commander. You're definitely only good to send into another settlement, and I'm gonna take you. Um, make sure that you uh, you do have a look also at your uh, generals Continue and tomorrow. that you have um, good people in your cities, so uh, good manage good management skills. That's really important. Uh, have a look into that because this may this can actually make a big difference in the uh, Third Age Solar War. Mission success. More Forest Wardens. That I'm gonna keep this time around here. Because I might be going up north against the uh, the orcs right here. So, um, alright. So, two settlements taken in one turn. We are pretty... Uh, we're doing pretty good on our target. Are we going to take Dol Gulger right now? No. We have this village. And we have this one to take. What's important right now is we repair. There's no repair. And that we recruit spearmen. That will take too much time. So um, let's start with our uh, normal build order. If you guys didn't watch a previous part. Uh, this is unfortunately a castle that I cannot turn into a city. It's not possible in this mode. We can... Uh, we'll build the roads first for the money. So a road, farms, and then the rest after that. The thing is, it's always it's a really small castle. There's no point for me having that. You know, I can do what maybe a badista maker somewhere. I'm not even sure I'll be able to do that. So there's no point having this castle. This one though. This one is a citadel. This one. Th th this one uh, I'm I'm interested in. My lord, approaching. Can we look inside? Yeah. So see, good upgrade, and then right there we can change some buildings, and then take, you know, control it. And this is gonna be some kind of our, our, our front fort to attack Mordor, right? Because this is this, that's the goal of the campaign. So this is gonna be some kind of a front fort to prepare troops, take the terrain that is in front of us here, and help at the same time. Our friend, uh, the our friend, the, the Gondorians, uh, try to join things together. Um, I have no gold being here. Sorry, but I'm gonna go to somewhere in uh, area door or somewhere up north, here. so we can get some trade agreements. Let's get some trade agreements with uh I shall with continue Saruman. tomorrow. Yes, it is possible to do that. You can get trade agreement with Saruman. So. Uh, it would be a good thing if you had never done that. Go ahead. I'm gonna do it on watch here. And then uh Austin Gill, there's the road. Excellent. So uh are we going to the next turn on this? Uh, my mining network's going fine. Um Siren Amrot we didn't any need anything or Yeah, everything's fine here. Let's go for turn eighteen. Already, see, I skip kind of, I skip a turn on the map info. You know, if I, if you do it every single turn, you might be send emissary to Isengard. It's kind of, it's kind of fun. You know, the game is kind of reading what I'm trying to do. Yes, my lord. You know, he knew that I clicked there. The movie, Tomorrow's right? Journey planned out. And I want to make sure that I'm not flag for copyright at the same time. But uh, this is look at the, the the settlement is really well designed. Here we go. So you have the settlement right there. But uh, I just passed by, and uh, a lot of horses around. We're going to Isengard because tomorrow. this is one of our mission. Done. What are you gonna military units? This is really good because getting a lot of military units right now is great for us. Um, I mean. Your At the Lord, moment, I cannot really recruit anything, so getting everything for free is really good. Um, I'm gonna put a tower in the wood. 
right here. Troops by your order. Oh, I'm in enemy territory. Honor. That's bad. Hiding from the enemy. Now the orcs will be this coming will because I enter the their territory. Um, yes. So pay attention to that. Do not cross a line. Not at the beginning. Try not. Um, otherwise, you My will Lord. excite the orcs. Uh, where are you going again, you? You're going here. As you wish. So, uh, so I can have a new governor. Um, I might be sending yes, Legolas out for another tower. Although we have a spy around. So, uh, here we go. So what we're gonna do is skip the turn right now because I don't have anything to build. Unless maybe Sarah's get it done. He's got something really good. Fireground will be a good idea. More farms, always good. Irrigation for six turn now, that's where we are. Um, and recruitment of better troops will be good too. The town guard. So we can get forest warden. The practice range, we can get sentinels. I like both units. I'm gonna put money on getting more money because this is the beginning of the campaign of this third age thing. Uh, you, you were not supposed to get super far at the moment. But uh, keep going on when you're playing. Keep going on and take some rebel settlements. A lot of rebel settlements right now you can take right from the beginning. So take those and then start the war after that. Um, are we going to uh, turn 19? Yeah, I think we're tomorrow. going to turn 19 right now. Here we go. I totally forgot to move some of my spearmen down south. Well, from my capital to uh, the new places. But this is gonna happen right now. So one will be going this way, and then we'll take another one in Erin Dolan. And we'll send him to Austin Gill. So it's like a, it's like a chain, right? Uh, new family member. Great, another little elf thing in my family. Um, I'm gonna keep brewing things and growing things there. Um, right now, it doesn't look like the orcs will be coming. I'm gonna stay in Ammon Gastol for now. We're gonna reinforce our garrison. Uh, with an extra unit of spears. That's good. Limelight Fort, not useful again. I showed you, there's nothing to do with limelight. I can see Moria now. The mountain. Oh, cool. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do, folks. Um, next part. We're gonna regroup all things together here. I'm on Gestal, Siren, Amrod, and then see where the orcs are. Uh, 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 w where they are. So, I have my spy, but I can't cross Moria. I can't look around. So, uh, I wanna see what's behind, and if there's an army, maybe quietly. around here trying to come over my place, but it doesn't look like. So uh, we'll be looking for the orcs, and we'll also maybe, maybe be looking for the orcs up north, but again, I have to get this out of there, and we'll take uh, this settlement. That's the next settlement we'll take, because after that, we can't really go this way, uh, we can't really go uh, east, we have to go west. Uh, so we'll go east first, and then we'll go west and take the other big terri the big places we need. So thank you all for watching today. Part of five of this third age total war, uh, well, Sylvan Elf campaign because this is what they are, Sylvan Elves. So uh, thank you all for watching, and thank you in advance for all your thumbs up and your comments on the video. Uh, don't forget to have a look at my channel. I got videos coming out uh, every uh, day, folks. Have a good one.